everyone. I hope you enjoy today's project. It is clothes pins. Sorry I haven't posted all week. I just started um, full time last Monday. And so my first week is kind of rough for me because I do get up around 4.50, 4.40, all depending. I mean, the first two morning I was up at 4. So I'm at work by 6, but then again, I don't get off till 2, 2.30. And then by the time I get home after picking up my son at 3, I'm done. And then there's dinner. So I will work harder, I promise you. And I will have a Dollar Tree haul next weekend. I will post that video. I'm having a little bit of withdrawal. I'm not going to get my uh, Dollar Tree. But I will do a little shopping next weekend as well. Um, haven't been too much in the store except for picking up a loaf of bread or butter or whatever. Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed this video. There's more coming um, for you that are doing bazaars. Please share your videos with me. Um, I would love to see what you're doing because, you know, we're all a team at the long run of all this. So remember, I break things home. I bring it with love and I bring it to life. So I hope you enjoy these videos of me making our famous... Hi everyone, this is Gail. We bring it to life. Today we are talking clothespins. So, I, like everyone else, have bought them at the store. I bought them on clearance for like a dollar. I bought me, little, um, small. I bought mini ones at your Dollar Tree. You get $44. I bought them for $1.29 and all kinds. Like, these are kind of cute. And then some at um, Target for a dollar. Some big ones, some huge ones, some different ones. So what I decided to do is I think this is where I got the idea from. Well, any of these packages. See, I didn't like the way this was packaged. I bought it because I like the clothespin, but not the way it was packaged. And then, of course, uh, these were 50 cents. If you remember, I picked these up at Michael's, four for 50 cents. So they were $1.50, but I paid 50 cents. So I was just kind of looking at how these were packaged. And, um, where are they now? See, I like these, how they have, like, Monday through every day. <laughs> um, I like the way these are packaged, just, like, all together. And so, um, I've watched a couple of other people, how they package them. Um, some just put them in a bag and just tied it all up. I don't want to do that. Um, I kind of want to give this a cute look. But, first, I got to make them. Um, I have these, which I'm going to pre-mix some of those um, together I'm going to mix some and then make my packages right now what I'm kind of want to show you today I like the minis I might do a couple of minis in between my big ones just to get, get them in there but today this do you remember when I was making um, some of my paper craft and I keep I keep all the edges look at this Oh my God. See, I have all these little pieces in this box, and then I have a whole drawer full of all these little pieces. And then I had picked up these little things, and I picked up these little pumpkins. Then I picked up these little purses, which I want to find the big um, clothespin because I would love to do the clothespins with um, the little purses on them. But I think I would only do one of those. But anyways... So, my idea is just to make my own clothespin. Uh, this doesn't take a lot of time, uh, just, you know, cutting the paper on the clothespin. So, I'm going to show you real quick. I use a, uh, an X-Acto knife, and I just use my scrap paper. So, I'm going to show you real quick. Actually, I'm done with this. I'm going to put 10 per pack. So, how I was going to do this is I was going to... Uh, I like the colors. So, I'm trying not to do all the same colors here. Oh yeah, I forgot about the most important part is where to buy your clothespin. You guys, I bought these at the Dollar Tree. You get 36 clothespins for a dollar. I think how I'm going to package these up and make them really look good. I am actually think I'm going to sell them a pack of 10 for $3 at my craft show, Bazaar. So, a Dollar Tree... Uh, for the clothespins. Now you can spray paint these if you want to. I might do a couple like that. I just don't know right now. But for right now, I'm going to show you how I'm getting my paper on my clothespin. So cute and so easy. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how I get my paper on my clothespin. For me, I think it's just choosing my paper. Like I said, these are just scrap. So these here are ready to be packaged. I'm not just ready for packaging yet. So you just put your paper... I just side down and I just put it 
and just put it on the edge of the paper see how the paper let me see there we go and then I just take my exacto knife and I just cut around oops I just cut around me the bottom of my clothespin okay it didn't do this the first time now I'm giving myself a hard time so you just go at the bottom and you put your blade down and you just cut your what is going on it's because I'm doing this on camera okay and then you just cut there we go there we go okay so it just makes strips like this if you want to you can use your your cutter board or whatever but I'm thinking or a smaller board I just like doing it this way that's just me and then you just take your tape and you tape it all the way down Take your clothespin and put it on your clothespin. If you want to use a different glue, you can, but this is so easy, you guys. There you go. And if you if passes up a little bit, oh, if it passes up a little bit, just go ahead and trim that off with your knife. Really super easy. Tape was stuck there. And then if you have a little too much on the edge, just go ahead and trim that off. Look how cute that is. Close pins. So, um, in this case, you can do like all, you can do um, glue little flowers up here if you want to. You can do different letters. Like, I actually got this. I didn't, I didn't, this was in a package with something else at a yard sale, but it has like different scrabble letters. You can do something like that if you want to. You can do all kinds of stuff. It all depends on what you want to do in this case. You're just doing your clothespin. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do another one. I'm going to do... Um, uh, I have this uh, paper for uh, the school. Like um, it was for back to school stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my clothespin and just put it in the center of the stars here. In this case, I'm just going to... Wait a sec. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and cut close to the stars. And then I'm just going to use my... And this is pretty pretty even too. Can y'all see that? Okay. At an angle, and you cut down. I bought this at Michael's Hobby Lobby. They all have these knives. And you just take your handy dandy tape and I like this one because it kind of you can kind of see where it's at and then just go down the line like so uh, and then I'm going to do the other side here I missed there we go. and I just if the tape passes I just fold it over and then I have some for teachers all with stars on it how cute is that? So then I could do a teacher's bag. Um, I'm at, I'm going to have, um, when I package this, I will videotape so you can kind of see. But super easy project. If you're doing a craft fair or if you're doing gifts even, you know, for anybody, you know, know that this will hold, um, if you have a picture or whatever, this will hold a picture just like this on your desk. You know, just put it on your desk and do whatever. I just think that these are cute and super easy to make. So I'm just going to go ahead and mass produce these. And um, if you have any questions on how to cut your paper, just um, send me a message and I will try to redo this for you. And see, um, some of them I'm going to have, actually I'm going to do one more because I just want you to see this one, how cute it's going to be. I have like this fall paper. And I'm just going to go ahead and actually, I'm going to use it even though it has little dots on it. And I'm just going to cut at an angle. Wait. Um, so much fun. I've been having a lot of fun crafting. I've done a lot of things, getting things finished. I feel like I'm accomplishing something, getting things done around here. Okay.
all the way down and see you have your fall paper mine had like a little line where you needed to cut it but I don't want to cut it because I'm actually going to and in this case you just tape it from the bottom up and if you're a little short that's okay because look how cute this will be and in this case when I'm using items like this I will charge uh, the same price but I will put less look and then I'm just going to glue hot glue my pumpkin at the top how cute is that all right so I'm going to keep going I'm going to mass produce like I said and when I start packaging I will show you how I package these for my craft fair so keep watching Hi everyone, continuing on with the clothespin. I've been using my um, eight and a half by 11 inches sweet pea paper stack. There's all kinds of colors in there. So I've been using that to do my packaging for my clothespin. And I've done some of the clothespin with some of that paper. I don't know if you can see, but look how cute those are. So I just kind of want to show you the first step into my packaging. So what I do is pretty simple. Um, I just grab my eight and a half by 11 paper and I cut them five by fours. So you just trim them down to 10 and eight and then you just go ahead and do a five by four. And then some of the trimming that I'm using from that paper is I use for to clip on my um, clothespin. It seems that I have a piece missing, so hold on just a sec. Okay, so five by four paper. And then I just use whatever coordinating paper I have left over from cutting all of them. In this case, I have the green paper. So. How I do it is I back up my two papers. I don't even glue them. I take my um, strip and I staple it on one side just with a regular stapler. Staple it on the other side and then I leave just about a little bit off the paper. I'm going to tell you why I'm doing that. So it gives it a little loop in the paper. See that when you push to put the clothespin zinc out. If if you don't do that, then it'll be a little too tight. So you do that, and then you just take your clothespins and you just spin them on. And make sure that everything is straight, especially when you want to sell these. And then one on the other. And it might make a bob, you know, move around a little bit, but that's okay because you're going to fix it after you put all of your clothespins on there. Okay, this is totally... I'm not going to use the yellow one because it matches too much, or that matches too much too. We we'll use flowers in this case. I'll do those two. And I'm putting five across, you guys. And we'll do the green. Okay, so I put them on all the... On the See how cute already that is? And then I just make sure that every one of them are straight and they're looking cute. And I am putting them in these bags that I purchased from uh, Tuesday morning. It's a 5 7 8 by 4 and a half paper. I mean a bag. And what green is this? DMD, it says the Vision of Creativity DMD bag. So... And they're bag 07795 and they're clear bags from a Tuesday morning. So that's what I'm using for mine. And then they're self-adhesive bags. So I make sure that the tape will be at the bottom because I will put a label on these. But right now I just wanted to get them all bagged up. real quick take off the okay and then I make sure that everything is straight here like this and you just fold it over and it will stick on its own so now you have all of your a clothespin package later on what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this up and see I have a little ledge here I will do a topper for this but that will be the next step I just wanted to show you how I package these aren't these cute and I'm going to do instead of doing six for three three dollars I'm gonna do five for a dollar I think um, five for a dollar or a dollar fifty I'm not quite sure I just got to feel it out that day but I think um, those are super cute and the tag is gonna explain that these can be note holders photo holder 
holders, um, basically anything you want to photo or uh, hangers or whatever. So keep watching for how I'm going to do my topper. Okay, everyone. So to finish off my clothespin, what I do is I take my eight and a half by 11 inches paper. I fold it in half and then get four squares out of it. And then I just go ahead and put my topper on. And I haven't done my printouts because, of course, my computer printer is being awful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out um, fun pins instead of clothes pins. Fun clothes pin, I think that's what I'm going to say. And I'm going to put a little note on there that it's good for notes, pictures, um, page markers, recipe holder, anything like that so I can do the... Um, do the printout of these. So that is the end of the clothespin. They came out really, really cute. I've only done the top of one so far. Um, sorry, here I want to show you. I put them all in the basket. They all came out so cute. And um, I'm still debating on price. I know some of you are so helpful for that and I really appreciate it. Um, I was thinking a dollar, but I think I'm gonna go up to two dollars for five. Between the, the work and the packaging and everything else, I think it might be worth two dollars. So, and I have been trying so hard to make sure that all of my product has a finishing touch like this, that it's just not in a bag, it has a little topper to it. Everything is explained what's in the package, what is it's used for. So I hope you enjoy. So see you next.